Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in here on Raw Stature Reviews. So let's do that together here. Let's review and compare these two fantastic Bane statues that just came in recently here. Um, so I've got this custom Bane here on the right for about two weeks now and the Prime 1 Bane versus Batman just came in um, about a couple of days ago. So I've got enough time to process both of them and what I can tell you from the very beginning of this comparison review is that these are two of the most incredible pieces that I have in my collection and that tells you something because I've got really a bunch of amazing statues um, that I collected over the years now um, but these two are incredible so that is probably um, I'm a bit biased because just love Bane as a character. I think he is one of the best um, Batman villains. Um, probably the second favorite of mine after the Joker. So he combines so much power and um, intelligence and strategy and whatever. Um, and he's the only one that really broke the bat, as you can see here in the Prime One piece. So very, very cool character definitely um, really really nice design as well all right so what i want to do is um, doing this a little bit of uh, copycat style so we will do it mr x style today so we will review different categories here of the two pieces starting with concept then going over to design then paint and sculpt and then overall presence and then we will see whether this whether one of those has got the raw factor. <laughs> so let's jump in into the review and let's start with concept. So as you can see, um, they have two pretty different concepts here. So one is, um, the custom one is standing completely straight, more or less stretched. Um, so you can see perfectly his body. He stands on a um, destroyed Batman sign that he just um, yeah, ripped apart um, and he is holding the this Batman sign um, yeah, illumination um, beamer here um, over his head and is about to throw it on Batman um, very very cool concept so basically, I think both of these um, pieces are taken from the Rebirth line design, but they are, um, in a way, um, a bit different to each other, which we will see when we come to the design category. So very, very cool concept here um, on the right one, in my view. You can see the statue perfectly. Um, and yeah, it captures the power of Bane. So um, he also crushes the um, the beamer here with his his bare hands. So you can really see that he is um, super super strong. Um, you can see here and there. So that shows real power. And um, yeah, love this design. Very, very cool. <clears throat> the concept here on the Prime 1 piece is second to none as well, of course. Um, so Batman is thrown to the ground. Um, the base is basically a full statue of Batman lying in the mud. Um, some broken boxes here and there. Um, Bane shows his full power, of course, punching Batman into the ground here um, so it captures really a moment in let's say comic book history or the imagination here of, of Prime 1. Um, you see all the venom tubes, you see the canister uh, a bit because he's leaning forward. Um, so this is pretty much a very intelligent um, concept and execution here of this piece because f on the one hand I was a bit um, yeah, not too keen about the pose because it's so crunched over. But when you give it a second thought, it is it is pretty um, 
smart because you can see everything more or less. So you can see the tubes, you can see the tank even from the front um, and uh, it's not covered on the back um, as it is on, on this piece here on the custom one. So very, very cool concept. Um, as you can see, this exclusive version here of the Prime 1 Batman has two heads. So basically the full normal head with the mask and then down there um, you've got the ripped off mask whereas this one here the custom one has five heads um, which is of course amazing so it gives you all the different area, um, eras here of Bane um, in the in the mask design so that is pretty pretty cool in my view okay so concept wise um, both are fantastic so I'm <laughs> really struggling which one is better um, yeah, it's a bit difficult because the one is a diorama piece and the other one is a standalone Bane. I mean, the focus is, of course, also on Bane here on the Prime 1 piece. Um, I think I like the concept of the Prime 1 piece a bit more. Um, it's just a bit more sophisticated. I mean, if you've got a full Batman statue here on the ground, it really captures the moment um, of um, Bane's epic fight here with Batman. Whereas the other one is, is amazing as well, of course, shows the power of Bane, but is just um, a tad more or a tad less um, uh, intricate, I would say. So concept-wise, I think the Prime 1 piece wins. Design-wise, so um, the custom one is really, it is my first custom piece, and I think it is really, really well executed. Um, so... I didn't have too many issues. Um, first, the legs didn't um, get in completely flush. As you can see here, um, still have a little gap there between um, this leg and the ground. And then also it was a bit difficult here to get the hands in. Um, so, but other than that, um, it is really, really well executed. Also like the colors, um, it looks metallic down there. Um, so there's one design flaw here with the with the batarang that should be um, painted silver, um, but they forgot it, and so it now has the color here of the venom dropping out. Um, that's a bit unfortunate to be honest. Um, the magnets aren't too strong, so they hold well in place, but they aren't too strong. And the venom tubes could be a bit more. So you can see this ones here, um, they're really neon green, which um, I prefer more. These ones are more like yellowish. So I would have loved to have them more neon green, to be honest. On the other hand, it's also a bit of a variation, so um, doesn't mind it too much. Um, biggest design flaw maybe, um, but that's of course, um, due to the concept overall is that you cannot really see the venom tank and the venom tubes when you look at this piece from the front and that's a shame because Bane of course um, a large part what defines Bane is also the venom so that is a bit unfortunate um, so you probably would like to display this piece somewhere in the center of your collection so that you have a 360 look um, otherwise um, Love the five heads. So I've already shown you the heads in the other review that I did. So you've got basically all the eras here of, of Bane um, in one statue, which is really, really cool. Um, let's check out for a second here. So the size comparison. So one is uh, a one fourth piece and the other one is a one third. So you can very well see the size difference here with the heads. Whereas the statue itself, um, so they are almost um, exactly the same height. Maybe even the custom one is a bit higher because he's holding this huge Batman sign over his head and the other one is crouched. Um, the Prime 1 Bane is much more massive, that's true. Um, yeah, so probably it's, it's the right um, proportion here with scaling. But the 1 fourth piece is, is definitely um, very, very large for a 1-4 statue and fits perfectly. Um, if you think about Bane 
being a real massive monster fits perfectly in that one fourth um, lineup with your Sideshow PFs, for example. So um, I will definitely combine him with the Sideshow PFs. I think that will look great. So design, very, very good on the custom. Um, Prime 1, really flawless with the design, I would say. Um, the base is perfectly executed. Um, no issues at all. So I've got a couple of wooden planks here that you have to just slide in there with um, color code. Um, and then this arm here is also a separate piece, otherwise it's one um, big solid piece of polystone here. Very, very well done. Um, yeah, I love the scene. Um, these reinforced parts here, um, I do not understand completely. Um, it looks good. Um, but maybe they should have gone completely throughout the base. Um, would have maybe been a kind of um, weight issue if they had done that. Um, it's a bit strange that you have rocks here on the one side and then two reinforcements here on each of the front and back. Um, so I don't know what um, the idea behind that was exactly. Bane itself is a monster. Um, no issues at all with the piece. Everything went in super, super well. Even my legs um, were easy to connect. Um, as I said in my review, there were some cracking noise um, sound when I, I slide him in, but um, I think nothing has broken. Just got in place um, nicely. Um, as I said, I love that you can see everything here about um, what defines Bay in the tubes, the canister, the rage, um, the muscles, really, really good. So, um, both are great again <laughs> as regards design. I think the Prem 1 piece is um, yeah, a bit better than the custom one, design-wise as well, so everything fit really well. I had some issues with the custom one, um, the better ring is not painted. Um, yeah, so both close to 10. I think um, the Bane Prime 1 is is 9.5 out of 10. Um, so the cracking noise on the legs gave me a little bit of uh, goosebumps, to be honest. And um, the custom one is probably 8.5 out of 10. Has some issues, but it's um, really, really impressive for a custom piece. Now turning to paint and sculpt. So um, here you've got the biggest differences, I would say. Um, both are really, really good. So um, I've covered that in my individual reviews. Um, but this one is more comic-like, I would say. So the paint is, um, so the um, body texture is very, very smooth. Um, you've got some dots here and there. And I think I also like the veins quite a lot that come through. I think the muscles um, are really, really well um, defined here on this piece. I also love the neck area here. Um, so the anatomy is really well done, um, as far as I can tell. I'm not a specialist um, in that. Um, the paint is, is overall really great. Um, of course, it doesn't have the details of a licensed piece. Um, however, it is very, very good. So I like that you've got these more... Um, reddish areas here, um, some nice shading in there. Um, yeah, this looks great. Um, I've already shown you that in my my review. Batman sign looks amazing, very well done. Well, you can see some magnet things in there, so that, that's not that nice, but Venom tubes could be more green, as I said, um, but overall the Paint and sculpt is really, really nice. Um, definitely a 8 to 9 out of 10, I would say, um, also compared to custom pieces. So um, I'm not the comic guy, guys, to be honest, um, so I'm not sure which one is more accurate to the Rebirth comic design. So this one here has um, 
really a full worker's outfit with the knee pads, um, the working boots, um, yeah, the um, belt looks looks nice. Um, so you will see the other one. Um, this is more blue, navy blue, I would say, more like a jeans um, look. Straps are good. He's got this middle strap there. Um, bit of a battle damage here and there, um, which looks good. Really love the mask designs here. So I've got all different types of masks. Um, like this one as well here. Some kind of battle damage. Someone can tell me from which era here of Bane this mask um, is from. I would be grateful because I really like it, but I don't know whether this is a new design or an older design. I've got also the ripped um, apart mask here, which looks really pretty nice as well. Um, very, very cool. So I'll give you a comparison between those two, because that's cool. Um, yeah, you can see that the Prime 1 um, piece is a bit more detailed. Um, and uh, yeah, here you can already see that the body texture, so the skin texture is very different. So here it is quite smooth, more comic-like, I would say. Here is more pale and um, more realistic, more wrinkles. Um, love the eyes. So very, very similar design. Um, very cool. So let's show you the other um, two portraits here of Bane. This one is also really cool. Looks like a Lucha Libre um, wrestler. And um, this one I think is um, from the Nightfall storyline. So the first appearance of Bane. Very cool as well. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> painted sculpt, I would say, is amazing here on this one. Really, really cool. Love it. Um, paint and sculpt on this piece is second to none here, guys. So I've got this Batman, he looks so good. You can see on the mud here, um, on the cowl. Um, mud looks great, captures the moment where um, really Bane is just punching um, Batman to the ground and the mud splashes away. Um, so, so freaking cool. Um, see the blood on the knuckles here of the hands, um, the body texture looks amazing. A bit pale, um, as I said, so it could be a bit more tan, but it looks cool. Um, it looks really um, very, very unhealthy, to be honest, um, with all these green um, veins through and also the reddish color here on the on the skin oh, looks like he's fully venomized crazy um, check out the details here on the boots um, it's really really second to none paint and sculpt quality so just amazing got the bottles here the broken ones in the back um, the only thing is that the rocks look a bit plasticky um, Still very, very good, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so um, check out my full review of this guy to see all the details even better than here. Um, but I would say that paint and sculpt category um, goes again to the Prime One piece. It's just um, an absolute 10 out of 10, whereas the custom one is a very, very good 8.5 out of 10, I would say. Um, really impressed with the custom quality. Can't say it um, often enough. Really cool. All right, so um, what is the overall um, score here of these two? So both are fantastic. Um, I love that one is one fourth and one is one third. Um, scales, so they, um, so you have a good justification to have both in your collection. The right one will go with my Sideshow PFs, as I said, so I don't need another Bane in there. I think this is the best one um, of all the one-fourth 
Banes that came out yet, um, and it will also stay that way even with the new um, piece from Sideshow that is coming out pretty soon. He looks badass as well, but this one here is just amazing. Um, all the options that you that you've got with the five heads, um, the overall design concept is just um, great. And the Prem One piece is ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> humongous, crazy execution. Um, captures Bane in all his glory. Um, yeah, also captures one of the greatest moments in comic history when Bane breaks the bat. Um, unbelievable. So, um, which one is the better Bane? I would say the P1 Bane is definitely the best Bane I've ever seen in my life. Um, it is just <laughs> absolutely amazing. Um, I don't think it can be topped by anything. Um, and the custom piece is, is a close second. Um, props to this custom group, really. Very, very cool um, execution here in design of this, this epic piece. But overall, um, the Prime 1 Batman definitely has the raw factor. And I think even the custom one has it too. So both are winners here. Um, Prem 1 is the winner of the winners. Um, but if you have each of these pieces, um, so either one of them, I mean, um, you can be very, 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 very happy. All right, guys, let's close out this video. Um, give props also to the two figs here in the back. Um, this Joker custom one is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, just got him in as well a couple of days ago and I've also just recently added the Batman here from Sideshow. Um, just an amazing couple in the back here. Um, so very happy camper at the moment. Um, as you can see, amazing pieces came in uh, to my collection and um, I hope I could transpond this joy over to you here in this video. Um, please like, comment and subscribe as always. Please hit the notification bell to not miss out on any videos here being uploaded on the channel very soon again and have a good day guys. Bye bye.